Hi, good morning guys. Well, today we will see the basic programming of pre-traversal, right? So we will be implementing various functions like pre-order, in-order and post-order. Okay, so let me take an example. Suppose this is tree. So the, it's a binary tree, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And let's suppose the address corresponding to each node is 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500. Okay, the first and foremost, you should know what is the structure of a tree, right? So what is the structure of a tree? So let's suppose, I am telling this is the structure and name of the structure being known. So let's suppose, the name of my structure is known. So let me explain you. Now this is your structure, right? And let's suppose the name of the structure is known. Now, in a tree data structure, my node comprises of three parts. Okay. So this first part is information part which contains your data. It can be in a form of care and flow. It can be anything. Then, so this is your information part, right? So this is your right pointer and this is your left pointer. So right pointer will contain the address of right node. Left pointer will contain the address of left node. For example, Right, this 10 is what? 10 is nothing but 10 is your info. This is your info. So right pointer will contain the address of right child which is 300. And left pointer will contain the address of left child which is 400. Which is 200. Similarly, for this node, the right pointer will contain the address of right child which is 500. And left pointer will contain the address of left child which is 400. Now for this node, there is no left and there is no right, so both will be null. Similarly, these all are leaf nodes which do not have a left and right child. So this will be null, this will be null. Similarly, this will be null and this will be null. So this is the basic node structure. How will you declare this? So struct is a keyword to define your structure and name of my structure is node. Right? So this structure is containing three parts. So I am putting an integer here. So this will be int info. Then there is a left member and then there is a right member. So left member is containing the address of left node. So it is containing the address, therefore it has to be a pointer. And similarly right is also containing the address. So right has to be a pointer. But remember one thing that this left pointer is containing the address 300. And 300 is the address of one complete structure. So left is a pointer which is not pointing to an integer, right? It is not pointing to an address. But this left pointer is pointing to one complete structure. So the type of this pointer has to be a struct type. So struct name of my structure is node. So right is also the type will be struct node. Right? And there is a variable of the structure which is I am telling it is struct node star root. So this is my structure variable. These are my structure members. This is my structure name. Struct is a keyword to define the structure, right? So this is the basic structure for your tree. So now we will start programming various tree traversal and you will see that how it's how easy it is to like program the tree. Now first you should know what is pre-order, what is in order, and what is post-order. So they are various traversal. How will you traverse this tree? So pre means pehle, and ki root jo hai wo pehle hai. So it's root left right. In means root jo hai wo center mein hai. So it's left, root, right. Post means root, jaga wo, last ma So it is left, right, root. Right? Now, so when you do programming, so remember one thing guys. What I am telling you right now, you will not find on any YouTube channel or maybe not in the books also, how they write the code for this tree. So remember one thing, that root is nothing. But root is just like your printer statement. It is a printer statement. Right? When it comes left, left is nothing but it is a recursive call. It's a recursive call. Similarly, right, right is also a recursive call. So whenever you see a root, so when you start programming, so whenever you see a root, you simply write a printf statement. Wherever you see left and right, you simply write a recursive call. So the first objective is to print this tree following this tree pre-order traversal. So 
So in pre-order, first is root, then your left, then your right. So let me write a function, a display function, which is going to display the tree. Let's suppose this is your root. So void pre-order. I am implementing pre-order. So I am passing root as a parameter, struct node, star root. Right. So if my root does not exist, it means there is no tree. So I will write a condition. If root not equals to null means if there is a root, it means there is a tree. So if root not equals to null, we do certain things. And what are those things? First, so what is pre-order? Pre-order is root, left, right. So first thing is root. Root is nothing but your printf statement. To write a printf statement, it is printf percentage d. Now, you want to print the info part and root is your variable. Info is a member, right is a member, left is a member. So structure members you cannot access directly, right? Structure members can only be accessed by using your structure variable. And my structure variable here is root. So I'm going to access this 10, which is nothing but your info part of the structure by using this variable root. So I will write root and info. Now what comes here in between this? Dot or then error. They put dot tab at the jump. When your variable is a normal variable, my variable is not a normal variable, it's a pointer variable. So in case if my variable is a pointer variable, I have to use the arrow operator, not dot operator. So write simply printer percentage d comma root arrow info. Now next comes, it's a left. Left is nothing but your recursive call. So recursive call means same function name. Same function name is pre-order. So how you have to call this function? By passing left as a parameter. So you will write root arrow left. And then pre-order root L right and that's it. That's your program. Now we will debug this program. How the things are count. So far so good, right? I don't think you have any problem in this. So root means print f, left means recursive call, right means recursive call. So we write a function void pre-order. I have passed the root as a parameter. So if root not equals to it means if my tree exists, if tree exists, then traverse the tree in this fashion. Printf root info, root info why? Because first thing in pre-order is your root, then it's a recursive call, so I'm writing pre-order root left, again pre-order root right. So this is my basic function of pre-order traverse. Now let me tell you or let me debug this function. How you debug? So what is the value of root here? This root is 100. So 100 not equals to null. Condition true hai, false hai, condition true hai. So if itino ke itino statement, they all are under a statement. So if this condition is true, we will evaluate this, this as well, this. All three statements get evaluated. So printf percentage the root info. So 100 ka info is 10, 100 ka right is 300 and the left is 200. So first thing what we are doing, we are printing root ka info. Root info is what? 10. So 10 gets printed. Next statement is what? Pre-order, pre-order, it's a recursive call, pre-order root left. So 100 ka left ke 200, 100 left is 200, then pre-order root ka right, right is what? 300, right? So first thing that gets printed is 10 and then we we'll evaluate P200 function and further we will evaluate P300 function. So this function won't be evaluated okay, until this we will solve this entire function. So let's solve this, P200. So now 200 means P200 means the function recursive function, the function we call itself. So here the value of root is 200. So 200 not equals to null, condition is true. Again do the same thing, 200 ka info, 200 ka info is 20. There is no left and there is no right. So now we will solve 300. So when you solve 300, 300 not equals to null, condition is true. So when the condition is true, you are going to print the info part of 300 which is 30 left of 300 is what 400 and left of 300 right of 300 is what 500 so it is 30 pre-order 400 pre-order 500 now we're going to solve 400 so when we we'll solve 400 it will print 40 then left is null right is null similarly when we we'll solve 500 it will print what 50 left is null right is null so now tell me सबसे पहले क्या प्रिंट हो सबसे पहले क्या प्रिंट हो सबसे पहले आया 10 10 के बाद हमने इस फंक्शन को सॉल्व किया सो वी स्टार्ट विद दिस 
first thing that gets printed is 10. After 10, this function will come. Now we will solve this function. So next value gets printed is 20. Right? So this is done because this is null, this is null. After this function, we are coming to P300. So when we are coming to P300, first thing that's getting evaluating. Evaluated is 30. So 10, 20, 30. After that, it's 40 and then it is 50. 10, 20, 30 and 40 and 50. So this is the pre-order traversal of this pre. And this is the basic code and how you are debugging this code. Note it down. Right? Thank you.